What's up guys, Gunnis here, bringing you another player review and today we are reviewing Inform Olivier Giroud, the French striker who plays for Arsenal. So I've got him up top in a 4 triple 2 formation as the right-sided striker and if you're looking for players like these or Ultimate Team Coins then go check out FIFACoinsBuy.com, the link will be in the description below for all your coin needs and make sure you use discount code GUNALISTA to get yourself a bonus on there. So let's have a close look at him, he's 6 foot 4, medium medium work rates, left footed, he's got a 3 star weak foot and only 2 star skills. I've added Hunter Kempshire style to him to boost his pace and his shooting. 13 games, 19 goals and 5 assists. So let's have a look how he's improved from his regular card. Well, 1 point overall. Pace, defending and heading all by 1. Dribbling by 2. Passing by 4 as he got an assist. And shooting by 5 was his biggest increase. And that reflects in his in-game stats. As you see, 95 finishing. So that's due to that shooting upgrade as well. 85 free kicks. Surprisingly, he was pretty decent on free kicks. 93 penalties. 96 shot power, which is what you want from your striker. And 91 volleys as well. You know, I said he was tall, 6 foot 4, weighs quite a lot, 194 pounds as well. Can only play as a striker though, which is a limitation to him. And then 88 strength is pretty decent as a standout, 87 reactions as well, but 88 strength is decent, 81 aggression and 84 attacking position. So, what were my expectations of Olivier Giroud? Well, I looked at the card stats and I thought, you know what, this guy has the potential to be amazing, even though his pace is a killer. And for me, that was the biggest thing. His pace is an absolute killer. I'm sure lots of you guys there are used to using these rapid players, you know, like someone like Eto, someone like Remy, you know, if you're looking at the BPL, just rapid players that are getting behind you, Rip Barbos, your Muriels, those kind of pace abuse players. Well, basically, if you're using players like those, I would like them to use in a sports car. You know, if you put your foot down, they are going to go. If you hit that run button, those guys are going to fly down the pitch. Well, come to use Olivier Giroud now and it's going to be like jumping out of a sports car and jumping into a tractor that is what I'm going to say because this guy is so slow and he's got a turning circle of a tractor for any of you that drive out there if you have ever been stuck behind a tractor or like a bus then you know how frustrating that is so slow so frustrating uh, but you know what if we take that to one side and we don't focus on his pace, this guy can finish for days. He's absolutely amazing. His left foot is absolutely godly. Whether you're passing with it or whether you're like wanting to beat the keeper, he's got fantastic shot power, fantastic ability with that finishing. And that's due to that five point increase on his shooting, which is absolutely amazing. His passing has got a nice bump as well, so he can hold the ball up and bring others into play. Decent volleys as well. If you anything like to do in the box, he will finish pretty much, which is what you want. And he's fantastic in the air as well. He win you headers for days all day long in the air. And it's due to that height and heading ability. What don't I like about him? You've got to be aware that this guy only has like <laughs> three star weak foot, which is not great. You want someone, especially if they don't have pace, you want them to have a decent weak foot. And he's only got two star skills. For you skillers out there, you're not going to be happy with that at all. But he is a decent, solid striker, but you need to have pace around him if you want to go with him. I do like him and he did score me some nice finishes. But it's just overall, I feel there are much better options out there in the BPL. Let's review overall what I thought about him. He's got deadly finishing, absolutely deadly on that left foot. One of the best left foots I've used in the game, purely from finishing and shot power. He's an absolute monster in the air, so tall, and he win you headers all day long. And he'll beat the keeper even from 18 yards out. Impressive strength as well, holds the ball up well. He's as strong as an ox, 88 strength, you feel it in game. He's got fantastic passing as well to bring others into play. What don't I like about him? This guy is so, so slow. He's like a tractor or a bus. He's got three star weak foot, only two star skills, and those medium, medium work rates don't help either. Overall, I'd give him an 8.25 out of 10. Some of you will like him because of that finishing alone, but you know that pace and the rest of the things there will probably mean that you won't want to pick him up. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like below, comment, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.